major admission today by the federal government about who it believes is in charge of the New England Mafia. According to court papers, the feds agree with what Fox Undercover has been reporting for two years now. Our investigative reporter, Mike Baudet, with the latest. For the first time ever, we're hearing the federal government name who officials believe is running the New England Mafia. And as we've reported, that leadership team is right here in Boston. The revelation coming out today in court documents is the former boss of the New England mob, Luigi Baby Shanks Minacchio, pleaded not guilty to extortion and conspiracy charges in Rhode Island. Federal prosecutors in Rhode Island filed paperwork to keep Minacchio locked up while he waits to go on trial. Part of their argument that Minacchio is still active in the New England mob for proof they cited this example. In June 2010, Monacchio was observed by law enforcement having an extended meeting with then-acting New England Mafia boss Peter Lamoni and underboss Anthony D'Annunzio at a Chinese restaurant in Boston. His access to high-ranking New England Mafia figures demonstrates his continued power and respect within the organization. In 2009, Fox Undercover recorded this video of Lamoni and D'Annunzio, who's Carmen the Cheeseman D'Annunzio's brother, meeting at an East Boston restaurant. Earlier this month, a state police organized crime investigator talked to us about Lamoni, who pleaded no contest last July to running an organized crime gambling ring, but avoided going to jail. Lieutenant Steve Johnson says Lamoni remains active in the mafia. Do you think Mr. Lamoni belongs in prison? Yeah. Fair to say he was a significant player? Fair to say he is a significant player. Lamoni's attorney did not return our phone calls, but earlier this month she denied her client is the boss of the New England mob. Monocchio, by the way, remains locked up. He'll be back in court again next week when a judge will decide if he'll be released. I'm Mike Bodette for Fox Undercover.